Hello! In the last two videos we saw how you can create, customize and review pull requests on GitHub directly from within VS Code. Today, in the third and final video of this series, we will see how you can manage GitHub issues from VS Code. This is the third video of this series, so I'm quite sure you already have the extension installed. If not, the extension is GitHub pull request and issue and you can easily find it from the extension tab on GitHub, I mean on VS Code. And this extension lets you click on this new icon and this is where we always work on pull request. But if you noticed, there's also an issues tab here and if you close pull request, you will see we have three sections, my issues, created and recent issues. The first thing we're gonna see is this plus icon, which guess what, lets you create an issue. So if you click it, it will open directly on VS Code this new issue file. Here you can change the title, Let's say I created this on VS Code. I can set as he needs and also labels. If you want to set label, you also have a handy autocomplete, which will take into consideration all the labels you have enabled in your repository. For example, bug, you can see it's one of the default ones. But also here I can select testing, which is the label I created in the previous video of this series. You can also write a body, as you can see here in this comment, just leave at least an empty line and this is the issue body. Now, the issue is ready. Let's press Ctrl or Command S to save the file. And this check icon on the right corner. Now that I clicked it, I will see an issue created indicator on the bottom right corner. And also, if I refresh the issues here, there you have it. This is the issue I just created. And if I hover with my mouse, I can see the body, the labels, and all the information I need about this issue. The first thing you notice after the issue is that there are two icons, an arrow and a globe icon. Here, if I click on this one, I can see in my browser it will open the issue and I can make sure everything is working properly on GitHub. Going back to VS Code, the arrow icon is slightly different and it says start working on issue and check out topic branch. What happens here is that Clicking this icon will move me on a new branch with my name slash the issue number and if I check back on GitHub, you will see that now I self-assign this issue and my name is on the When I want to stop working on this issue, if I click the stop icon here, you will see that the branch will go back to main. If you also watch my previous video, you notice that there's this pencil icon next to each of the tabs here. What happens if I click? I can customize all the options by giving them a custom label and a custom query. For example, if I want to create a new option here where I only see bugs in my repository, I can write here label and say bugs and on the query, Copilot will obviously help me, I can make sure only label bug state open issues are visible I can sort them by creating desk and make sure to also specify the repository here with the owner name and the repository name. Otherwise, you will see all issues on GitHub. Now that I hit save, I will see here that the new issue I just created is also displayed here exactly because I added the bug label on the issue. Do you think there is some room for improvement? Well, sure there is. If you think you have a good idea for this extension, feel free to create an issue in the official repository that is called VS Code Pull Request GitHub. We're in open source and everyone can contribute in making the world a better place. For example, while making these three videos, I found a couple little bugs, I created pull requests and now they're merged and ready to be shipped in the next version. So if you have ideas or you found bugs, feel free to do your part and make this extension even better. And this was everything I wanted to show you about the issues feature on the GitHub pull request and issue extension. I hope you enjoyed this three video series about this extension. If you missed the other two videos, you can find them here. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, please subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot in creating new videos as I get more views and more feedback from the community. Thanks again for watching and see you soon!